But back then when you approached the Russian chief designer, as far as I remember, is it true that one of them spat on you, like you and Elon, because he was feeling kind of disrespected from Elon, maybe? Yeah, the uh, it was the chief designer of a, a company called Machina Stroya. Now all these all these companies are all state owned, and it's important to understand in the Russian aerospace industry, uh, rather than having a CEO like we do in the West, who's rather considered the leader of the organization, mm -hmm. there it's the chief designer. So this goes back, I guess, to the Soviet system, and uh, you know any of these any of these groups were headed by a technical chief designer. So um, you know, Chilome was was ahead of one at Energia years ago, and uh, you know you hear about Korolev and, and some of these guys. That's the that's the kind of culture. So these are exalted, very bright, uh, very competent people that run the organization. So so this is the one we were meeting with at Machine Australia, and they had built uh, what amounted to weapons of war. So the the Strela, which we were talking to them about, was a converted ICBM. And I suspect that uh, this gentleman's frustration, I don't remember his name anymore, um, was uh, born both out of, you know, a, a recognition that nobody in the Soviet Union was really happy about what had happened when the Soviet Union came apart. Uh, and also, here's a young, I mean, you got to remember, Elon was 29 years old when we went to Russia. And it's a very... Um, uh, it, it's a very paternalistic culture in the sense that age really does matter. And, uh, you know, I was in my late thirties, early forties, as I recall. And, uh, let me see, you know, it would have been uh, mid thirties, mid to late thirties. So, you know, I was still pretty young, but Elon was especially young and he was the, the man with all the, with all the money. So I, I really honestly believe, um, that, that, uh, they just found this whole thing ridiculous. <laughs> You know, as I said, we were talking about building rockets ourselves. You know, here's a, here's a man coming in saying he wants to spend all this money of his own to, to send a plant to Mars, which made no sense to the Russians. And uh, I, I just think it was overwhelming for the guy. That was the sense I got. And uh, yeah, he, he did. He, as we were explaining it to him, he he, he spit on our shoes. And uh, you know, Elon turned to me and said, "I think you spit on me." And I said, "Yeah, I think that's a sign of disrespect." You know, so that was when the meeting was pretty much over at that point. So, yeah, it's a true story.